Hello my lords and ladies and welcome back to State Guy Plays with me, State Guy 89. Alright, we're back on Kingdom Come Deliverance. Now today, or yesterday, we found Riki. Got him, brought him back to Rate to face justice for the things he had done, but also so that he could himself let Sir Radzik Kobola know what went down during the Neuhoff raid. So that brings us back to Rate again. So, today, I thought we would spend the day doing a little bit more in Rate, getting a few things done before we go looking for Timmy. Because I figure some more training will help us out. As we know, we <laughs> most likely need it for some of the different battles and fights and things that we're going to be doing. So we're going to start with doing some hand-to-hand -hand combat. We're going to fight the, basically the uh, fight club of Rate, and start with that and see how things go. So we're going to start with Ringlet. My respects to you. And to you, sir. All right. Let's go hear from Milan. You need to. You want to brawl? Aren't you Ringlet? Milan says I have to beat you before he'll take me on. And you're that blacksmith's lad, right? What do you want out of That's me. You're not living the dirt here like the rest of us. Maybe no. not. But why shouldn't I try and beat some coin out of him too? Yeah, and you can pass it on to us that need it. If Fair you enough. Fight me, you dandy, then pay up or fuck off. All right, fine. I'll pay up. We'll have it out and see what happens. Best you can do, Ringlet? I guess so. Alright. Now, I do want to try to pay, play this game nobly. I try to be an honest man as much as I can be. So, I'm going to let you lay there with whatever loot you may have on you and walk away. You'll wake up soon. And realize that I left you with all your stuff while well, you were unconscious, and I could have taken it all, or I could have killed you. Yeah. We'll let you keep it. Yes, it would be nice to make the money off of you, but I said we're trying to trying to be noble yeah. about this. Yes, I know we're in a fight club, and we're talking about being noble, but. There still is some honor amongst thieves. Yeah. We're not going to steal from you. We'll beat you in a fair fight. All right, let's see where the rest of my brawlers are. Looks like they're both back this way. We're going to fight Milan last. Let's head back here. Find our next brawler. And continue on. Steven. Good day to you. And to you, sir. You're Steven, aren't you? Milan tells me he won't fight me until I beat you. Oh, yeah? Then why would you want to? Well, never mind. I'll fight you if you pay me. What do you say? Let's go. Oh, well. I'll have my Groshen back here in just a minute. You're going fast a little better than Ringlet did, at least. Yeah. 
Not a whole lot. Hey, new level and unarmed. Speaking of new levels, in the last episode we leveled up our vitality and our speech. So let's use these perk points real quick. Now we have Marathon Man, which is going to have us run slower, but keep it up for longer. Your sprint speed is 20% slower and demands 20% less stamina. So we won't move as quick, but we can run longer. We won't get winded as easy. Sprinter, you run faster, but at a, but at a uh, tire faster, as well as run faster. Sprinter's 20% faster and 20% more stamina. I'd say getting winded less is probably going to be our better option, so let's go with Marathon Man. Then we also leveled up Speech. Now Highborn and Lowborn we got at a previous level. This level will give us Empathetic, Silver Tongue, and Troubadour. Troubadour, you have a 50% higher reputation when talking to women. Okay, that's great, but a lot of the people we have to talk to are men. So, and it goes in the wrong direction. Silver so Tongue increases his speech skill when haggling. That's great. Awesome. Works great for haggling. It'll probably save us a little money. But that's all it helps us at. This one is in dialogue. You'll see your counterpart's stats in the skill checks. That'll let us know which option to choose best to get a success instead of a fail. I think that one's going to be our most useful and help us out the most in the long run. So that's what we're going to go with for right now. So that we'll be able to see what the other person has. Alright, now, we have beaten both of Milan's men, so that leaves us strictly with needing to fight Milan. Yeah. And then we'll get this activity done, and we'll finish Fight Club. Yeah. So, let's get up here, find Milan, and, oh, we leveled up horsemanship, awesome. Get up here, find Milan. Let him know that we beat both of his guys. It is now time for him to face off with us. Yeah. So is he still over this way? Where you at, Milan? You inside? Oh, trespassing. Come out here so I can talk to you. Good health to you. And to you, sir. Alright, time to fight. fight. You gave those two a pretty good hiding. And I made a grosh or two in bets. You scallop fellows are good <laughs> for my purse. That's good to hear. But it's time for you to man up and show us what you got. You're a better blocker than either of them, that's good. Make for a longer fight. Not that much longer. Thank you, Milan. And we won. Alright. That gets that activity done and out of the way, gets us a little more training in hand-to-hand -hand combat. Now, let's see. We'll go ahead and turn that one off because we've already had our fights, we've already beat you, and we'll move on. So, one other thing that I would like to do is get some more practice in on our sword fighting. For that, we need to go up to the combat arena. 
Now, for anybody that left comments in the last video, I am very sorry I have not read them yet. I am actually recording this video before that one's even going to be posted. So, this one will be posted before I have the chance to read your videos. Well, at least it's being recorded before you have the chance to view it, leave comments, and for me to read them. I will definitely be reading the comments, though, once I get the video posted and y'all start leaving me a few. I'll be reading them and getting back to you. Yeah. Most likely in the next video, if I had to guess, will be I'll have time between this one and that one to get it posted, and you'll have time to start leaving me some comments, and that way I can reply to you. Debts must be paid by. And yes, you know, I must. You know how the story goes. I haven't made paid M Miller paycheck yet. I am very sorry to hear. I apologize. I didn't even think about it. I have not stopped back by the same. Let's defer it. And, well, let's go ahead and pay it. We've got the money to pay it. We'll pay it get right. it paid. Just leave me alone. Good thing you've come to your senses. Not afraid of them. I now can take them, but money. no sense in fighting them when I can just pay them. I'd simply forgot to make it down there to see Miller Paycheck to pay him. So that way he's got his debt collected, he's paid, and good to go. Hey, I'm already clean, so no need to wash myself off in the trough. I, I was up here looking for Captain Bernard, but it doesn't look like he is up here. So, I bet he is over, dear, over near Mehoid. Or Mehoed with Sir Adzik. Because they were going to camp out and keep an eye on things there. So, I guess that means it is time to go look for Timmy. And yes, my plan is to get these clouds cleared out of here before it's over with. We're going to continue playing on, continue letting that take it where it wants to take us. And clear it out some that way. As well as we'll do some riding out through the woods. Some different riding around the map. Just simply clear it out and get it to where we can see it. And I may do some of that offline. If I do, it'll simply... Or off camera. If I do, it'll simply be that... I'll ride around. If I run into anything, I'll be sure to try to record it for y'all. That way y'all can see what come up during my ride around. If I end up doing it during on camera, or all of it on camera, then of course you'll get to see it all. But I'm pretty sure that'll be a little boring just seeing me simply ride around the map to clear it out so we ain't got the clouds covering it. So I don't know about y'all. But it drives me nuts having them over. I'd rather just be able to see the map, know what's there, and go on. So, we're going to fast travel up here to Townburg, and then we'll ride from Townburg back down to the mill. And when we get down to the mill, we can look for Timmy. Uh, hopefully, we can get some answers out of him, and some information out of him. Saying as he's been to Runt's camp. We'll hopefully be able to talk to him about it and discover the location so that we can go directly to Runt and his men and get them stopped from attacking any police else. It's too bad that you can't stop partway through a fast travel. That would be very helpful. Although with it coming evening, what we'll probably do is when we get to Townburg, we've still got a bed here. So we'll slide in there, go to bed, get a little bit of sleep, 
as we did before we went looking for Riki. Might want to wake up real rested, ready to go, and probably eat us a bite for breakfast, and get on the trail down to the mill and on the hut for Tammy. Hello, people of Townburg. I'm just coming in, hang out for a few, get a little sleep. Don't worry about me. Now, we do still have one thing left to do for Lady Stephanie of Townburg, which we will be doing soon. We'll go get her current go get the crown that she was wanting from Sasau. Once we have that, we'll have all the things she's after. Be able to bring them back to her and deliver them for the wedding. I'm gonna wake up well rested, plenty of energy, ready to go. Although her nourishment's gonna be down. So we'll definitely make sure to eat breakfast again. You gotta have that breakfast. Important meal gets us going and keeps us going for the whole day. Alright, good morning. Try to find us a bit of breakfast. Oh. oh, I'm not ready to get on pebbles yet. Sorry, pebbles. Slip in here to the kitchen and see if we can get a bat. Hey, they got a pot ready for us. There we go. Get the nourishment up and get us ready for the day. Yeah. Beautiful morning, clear skies, the sun's rising. Morning ride in. Oh, wrong side of the fence. There we go. Yeah. We know you can get up these hills. You can climb the mountain to get us to Riki. Oh, but the bushes got us. I'll we'll have to ride down here to the end and go around. There we go. the mill. Yeah. Now we need to start looking for Timmy. Oh, hold up, hold up. Stop and talk to us for just a minute. I'm looking for a colossus by the name of Timmy. I heard he works here. 
I don't know anyone like that. No, come on now. Uh, so, this is where that perk comes into play. We know her, her speech is higher than ours. So, um, someone wants to kill him won't work. Tires for Hannah's sentence won't work. It'll be better all around if you just tell me. Now that'll work. We're definitely more intimidating. Listen and listen well. It'll be better for everybody if you tell me. I'll be happy to know where I can find him. You'll be happy I don't have to get nasty with you and Timmy. I'm sure Timmy will be happy to stay alive. As much as I you, don't want to say that to her and be you mean don't to want her. To hurt him. No, I really don't. Like I said, I just want to talk to him. All right, but not here. We'll talk round the back, behind the mill. Okay. I don't know why we can't talk here. She must be worried about someone overhearing her. So, head around back and talk to her back there. She went in the mail and see if going around she said she wanted to talk out back. I don't see a door back here that she's gonna be coming out. That's the miller. I don't know, villager. Looks like a miller. She's a quick one. Went in to put her broom down and she's already over here. Right, here now I let's am. talk. So, why all the secrecy? What do you want from Timmy? Can you tell me where to find him? Promise me nothing will happen to him. Why do you care so much? He's my brother. He's not Makes very sense. smart, you see. And he's always getting led astray by his no good friends. And now there's some right peculiar characters looking for him. Who are they? I don't know. But they look like cutthroats. And they said some strange things. But I didn't tell them anything. That's good. But sooner or later they'll find him anyway. Yes, they will. Tell me where he is, and I'll take care of him. Hiding at the Colburn farm over by Mervoyed. Oh. Oh, no. Four on one, come on, guys. And they got me surrounded before we ever start. Feeling you're looking for someone here. I'm looking for someone too. Maybe we can help each other. Or maybe not. Who are you looking for? Hmm. And who are you looking for? A great big ox by the name of Timmy. Don't know anything about him. Sorry. I'm afraid I don't know anything about him. That's a shame. A crying shame. I take good care of people who help me. Now, if someone were to tell me where to find Timmy, I might offer that man a job. We could use a smart fellow like that at the camp. I've already got a job. But where is this camp of yours? You have an encampment somewhere. Well, sure we do. And no shortage of coin if you're ready to earn it. And where is it? Ha, all in good time. First prove we can trust you. Help us find it. Where's the shot? Don't know where he is. I want money. Is it Coleman's farm? I ain't just going to give up and tell him where he's at. I've no idea where he is. I reckon I'll have to try my luck elsewhere. That wench didn't tell you anything. Not a thing. But our speech is... Not gonna work. 
he's definitely higher than us underneath in all of it. And I might know something which is going to lead him back to the same result as if we tell him not a thing. So. Well, I might know something. I know I said speech isn't going to work, but we're kind of out of options here, so I'm going to try to tell him he's in Rete. I hear he's hiding in Ratai. Oh, yeah? Rete. Where in Ratai? I, I don't know. You'll have to find him yourself. Sounds like a pile of horseshit to me. Stop wasting my time and spit it out. I don't really want to tell him, but I don't want to fight him. Four on one. Guess we're going to have to fight him because I'm not telling him. You don't know when to give up, do you? The one who has the upper hand does as he pleases. Boy. True. Only you don't have the upper hand. Well, what have we got here? here? Entertainment. I don't know why all my stuff is not in place. But we'll get it all hooked up now and see if we stand a chance, even though they're going to get some hits in on us before we ever get started. Ooh, going knock me backwards. I'm going to enjoy this. Are you? Not as much. Oh, you got an archer. Wipe my ass with you. Oh, this is not going good for us. Okay, that did not end well. Not the way I like to see it go. So, huh. the way that went, um, this is going to be a tough one to get out of. We may end up having to tell him something in order to get the chance to get out of here alive. <coughs> Tell them then what we can try to do is to get there before them. But there's no guarantee in that either. Here I am. What do you want from Timmy? Can you tell me where to find him? Promise me nothing. Why do you care? And now there's some. Who are they? I've already went through all this, so we're going to just good. hurry through it. He's hiding at the Colburn farm, over by Merhoyed. Feeling you're looking for someone here. I'm looking for someone too. Maybe Is this so? Each other. Mm. Depends on who you're looking for. And who are you looking for? A great big ox by the name of Timmy. Don't know anything about him. I'm afraid I don't know anything. That's a shame. A crying shame. I take good care of people who help me. Now, if someone were to tell me where to find Timmy, I might offer that man a job. We could use a smart fellow like that at the camp. You have an encampment somewhere? Well, sure we do. And no shortage of coin if you're ready to earn it. Where is it? Ah, 
all in good time. First proof we can trust. the shot. Help us find Timmy. Hmm. Sorry, folks. Don't know where he's at. I've no idea where he is. I reckon I'll have to try my luck elsewhere. That wench didn't tell you anything. Oh, our speech isn't higher than his, so we know that's not going to work. So, but we're going to try it. No um, thing. She didn't say anything. Oh, yeah. Stop messing around and spit it out. Alright, an attack at four on one isn't going to end well. So, it's time we win some mice. See if right. we can get a little bit out I'll of him. And then we're going to really? try to tell him where he is and try to Why beat him there. We're all Christians here, aren't we? Why not help thy neighbor? Especially if he pays two score groschen. Ha! <laughs> you wouldn't be my cousin by any chance. I'll give you two dozen, no more. Half now, and half when we find him. Deal. All right. So, guess we're going to tell him and try to beat He's him up there. The Colburn's farm. Right back where he started. Are you yanking my pistol? Well, excuse me if I take that with a grain of salt. I'll just leave Radan here to keep an eye on you, for your own protection, you know. Come with us if you've got the stomach for it. If not. Come and find us in the Samapesh Tavern when it's all over, or we'll find you. Uh, wait till he finds him, then go get the reward. Let them get gone. And now leave me just one guy to deal with. We'll gear up real quick. Let's see if we can't get him dealt with. Yes. I'm pretty mad of his mercy. We're gonna grab everything he's got, including his sword. I'm gonna call for the horse. Come on, Pebbles, where you at? Till they get down, we can collect our reward. I would rather. Yeah. Not wait. Yeah. Stop them from killing him. Come on, pebbles. If we can stop him from killing him. You're dead. Then that'll yeah. help us out. And doing it this way we stand a chance in combat. If Pebbles yeah. doesn't get stuck and we get pulled off our horse. You can't hide from me. <laughs> At least the they don't have an archer. Do? You fucked up. <coughs> He's definitely a f good fighter. Shit. He's blocking everything we throw at him. Let's let him attack. 
block him and see if we can get an attack. Fix. See, fights like this I do not like. Cause he's managing to block everything we're attacking him with, even when we're blocking him and attacking back. What my ass with you? Sword. Take everything you have and stop you from killing Timmy. Soul Slicer. Alright, we are over encumbered. We're going to send some of this to the horse. Chainmail's got better body armor than what we've got on, so we're going to put that on. Anything he's got, or anything we've took, that's better than what we had, we'll put on. Not against where we're not over encumbered. We're still injured. Alright, let's see where the rest of his crew went. We're gonna get to Timmy. Yeah. We're coming, Timmy. Yeah. We're coming to the rescue, yeah. hopefully. Yeah. 
Where are you, Timmy? Yeah. Bandit. This doesn't look good. Timmy. Hey, Timmy. How are you today? I'm all right. Uh, have we met? We have now. Huh? Oh, shit. What do you want? It wasn't me. I didn't... I mean... Shit. I'm gonna ask you about the massacre, Timmy. I saw Timmy. what you did at Neuhoff. What are you talking about? You weren't there. Uh, I mean, I wasn't there. Don't waste your breath. You were there with Limpy Lubos and Riki. I heard all about it. What do you want from me? Your mate Hinnock told me about a whole camp full of those horse hunts. And I want to find it. I need to find it. Yeah, but... But why should I trust you, though? I'm not stupid. You might be one of them. Pretending to not be one of them. Trying to catch me out. I won't tell you nothing. Understandable. Why would I try to catch you out, though? Why would I be trying to catch you out? For Christ's sake, man. They crucified Limpy Lubosh and Ujits. What the hell are you trying to pull here? Shit, shit. Shit, shit, shit. What will I do? Shit. I don't know where their camp is. That's a load of horse shit. Hinek told me you were there, and that Pius warned you to keep your mouth shut. You must know something. Well, once Come I was there me. with them, yeah. Only, I was pretty drunk, so I'm not too sure. Try to remember. It was in the woods. In some kind of woods. You know, with uh, trees and stuff. There were some wrecked houses there and all. In the woods. A, a church! There was a church there. Kind of a broken one, though. Oh, great. Thanks a it's lot. Broken down now it's all clear to me. Do you remember which way you went? It was straight north from Townberg. When you go okay. uphill from the castle, there's a path there round some barns, I think. It leads to the woodcutter's camp. If you go further on past the woodcutters, you come across this abandoned house. Can't miss it. Looks like a house. Only abandoned. Go to the left there, and carry on till you come to this clearing, with a big beech tree. Or was it an oak? Uh, you go left there again, there's this narrow path, and you go straight along there. Sometimes it splits up. You just keep to the left until you come to a crossroads by this big flat rock. You keep straight on there. After a while, you'll see a bridge. And it's right there. Easy as you please. Better than nothing, I suppose. But you won't tell nobody about Neuhoff, right? You promise. Oh no, bugger. I meant to make you promise, but I forgot. You have to confess or I won't tell. I do feel bad for the man. He's not completely all there. And people are taking advantage of him. Let's not tell on him. Well, we told on Riki, but Riki's well enough and down. He knows what he's doing. So, let's tell him he needs to confess. You took part in that massacre, Timmy. People got killed and the farm was burned down. You can't expect to get away with it just like that. Come with me to Ratai. They'll know what to do with you there. No, no. 
I, I won't go anywhere with you. They'd hang me. What do you expect? On, that you can join a gang of robbers to go thieving, murdering, and burning, and nothing will happen to you? Come with me, and at least you'll die like an honest Christian. Never. You might as well kill me here and now. Let's leave it to God to handle. Well, we ain't doing it. The Lord sees you, so who am I to judge you? Your sins will come back to haunt you yet. Alright. So, we've talked to Timmy, got the information from him, passed it along to Sir Radzik. He now knows where we stand. So, we're going to call it a day, and the plan is tomorrow we'll go out, scout the camp, see what's going on, what kind of forces they have, try to slip in there and do a little bit of sabotage, which will make things a lot easier on us when we go to attack the camp. So, for now, thank you my lords and ladies, have a wonderful day, and we'll